This sounds a lot like activism. What exactly is going on? Yeah, it, it, <laughs> on the surface, it does sound yeah. like activism. But, but look, they're very clear about this. They're not going to do any kind of uh, traditional activist activity. There's not going to be any proxy fights, no attack letters. And from what I understand, they're only going to show up in those companies to really invite them in and say, look, we, we recognize that you have a skill set that we perhaps don't have. You can bring something to our board that is perhaps unusual in terms of that sort of private equity experience and experience running and owning, operating lots of different companies. But they're not going to show up in the traditional activist way of sort of quietly building a position, then announcing it and saying, hey, we're here and, gotcha. and, and we mean business. Hmm. TPG is a private equity firm, isn't it? It is. So what One is of it, the biggest. What is it doing acting kind of like an activist investor? Well, in, in terms of acting like, a, I, I would say more like a public market investor, right? They're actually going and just buying traditional public equities. Yes. I think what that really speaks to is how difficult private equity has become in terms of they have these enormous pools of capital. Uh, everyone is sort of going after the same targets. Public market valuations are very, very high at the moment. So they have to be a bit more exotic in the way they think about deploying capital. And this is just a good example of that trend. We've seen it it play out in many, many different other ways. And activism is actually one strategy that some other private equity firms have looked at. Uh, and, but this is more like just sort of traditional asset management, right, but with a meant. slightly more engaged bent. It's an interesting approach, and I can understand why they would do it. I guess the two questions here are part of the uh, one, two, two questions here. One, have we I sort of identified any companies or particular industries that they might be interested in doing this with? And do we have any sense of how receptive the public companies are going to be to this? Yeah, I'll ask, the second bit of that is slightly easy to answer. I think they're only going to go with those companies that would be receptive. So mm -hmm. it would be like we saw with Occidental and Warren Buffett earlier, mm -hmm. uh, not, I should say not earlier this year, last year, in right. 2019, where they had a big acquisition, they needed funding, they turned to Buffett and said, can you give us money and in return? Mm -hmm. He gets influence at the company, he also got some preferred equity. So I think that would be a, an example of the kind of situation where it would happen. Uh, in terms of the kind of companies they're going to go after, I don't think there's necessarily a particular sector identified. I think it's going to be across sectors. From what I, uh, I understand from the reporting, it's going to be quite big companies, and typically they're going to be looking for big stakes, so anything kind of over about 5% of the listed company.